Here on the stereo, I had HR1 camera. You see Earth hanging tough and Mercury speeding on by. And that, yeah, this NASA science camera is always a big help. It's dark out in space. Everybody's gonna go a little crazy. After countless solar flares and coronal mass ejections in the last week, the sun just popped off another giant, like, oh, wow, look at that. One. So, and look at the red caps. I've never seen it do that. Never. That definitely looks like a hand. At least it's not giving us the bird. Wow, that is just... It's like a hand that's giving the middle finger. And we got a dagger. And we got, what is this, a spork? A pig's foot? And a giant bastard sword. I'm not cussing. That's an actually term for sword. What is going on there? Stay cool. Thor News presents... Hit the button, baby. This is a Thor News presentation. I made a video yesterday about the most amazing filament complex I'd ever seen on the sun. And I'm going to follow that video up with the most amazing filament release I've ever seen in my life. Look at that thing. That thing is so big. It's like a, it's like a thousand Earths. It's like 132 Jupiters. Okay, I made that math up on the spot. But here I'll show size of Earth compared to the filament. You get the idea. So we've just got flare after flare after flare after flare after flare. And then giant filaments tearing off the sun. I mean, this is as active as I've seen the sun over any week period since I've been watching. Earth weather is definitely going to get weird. And I'm going to get weird too. This is pretty super incredible. Let's keep our eye on this region and just watch. Look at these down here. They're called filaments. I have nicknamed them solar gremlins. And now it appears they've outgrown that nickname and need to be nicknamed after something bigger, which we did. They're solar dinosaurs. So I think the sun has just entered the fossilic Cambrian prehistoric era. Okay, I made that up totally. And look at the red caps. I've never seen it do that. Never. And it's like on that coronal mass ejection. The majority of it leaves the sun, but some comes back. Yeah, that's just jaw-dropping. We are now checking it out on the stereo ahead core 2 camera. And watch as our speedy little buddy, Mercury, comes into frame. And here's the little sun baby. It's growing big, man. Sun baby is getting big. I'm a proud papa, that's for sure. But if you'll notice over here, unfortunately, NASA has a bad habit of cutting away from the good stuff. Because apparently that region has been going a little batty for a while. That thing is giant. That is incredible. Sun looks like a celestial clock. tick tocking away. Right around the 27th of... September it started to freak out. I mean, that's a lot of light plasma and energy output, I would say. Uh-oh, see the hand is now coming out. And that is just incredible. Like, it doesn't matter if you give that an X class, an M class, a C class, like, that is just bizarre. And the sun itself has been acting bizarre for about two or three years now. We've been in a double-peaked minimal solar maximum that's never ending and really weird. And it's just been filamenting like crazy. Like, for example, see this spot here that's totally black? This white circle is the sun, bro. This white circle is the sun, so like... If the sun is a giant light bulb, this area should not be black. This area should not be black. So that is not a good sign. Here at Thor News, we do believe the sun affects the weather. And there are parts of light that are instantaneous. Though plasma moves slower, of course. And light itself moves a little slower. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, as the sun increases its uber weirdness, please expect and prepare for Earth weather to get uber weird across the world. And right now, especially in the Atlantic coast. But I'll keep you updated. Because that's what I like to do. I prefer to, like, not have it be a serious meal to tell a lot of jokes and stuff most of the time. <laughs> Today doesn't seem like one of those days. See, even when the plasma blows through the blackness, it's... Oh, wow. <laughs> that is, yeah, doing it, and I'm doing it, and I'm doing it well. All right, so I'll keep you posted. I'll have another weather video up in queue. Sounds great. God bless everybody. So we've just got flare after flare after flare after flare after flare. And then smoke them if you got them. Thor News presents. I now give to you. Some Thor poetry. I know, yay, right? Okay, I'll count down from five. You can leave now if you can't handle it. Five, four, three, two, one. I got a message from a man from Mars today. He said, I'm sorry, but boy, you made me late. And now you're just gonna be another car in the ocean. There ain't no alchemy. That can give my time back to me, he said. And I knew for sure I didn't want to be a fucking car in the ocean. I knew for sure I can't always make up for lost time. Neither one of us needs to be a car in the ocean. Yeah. None of us need to be a car in the ocean.
party dance time. Oh, and in case you didn't know, that's Venus.